Hi bow making friends, welcome back to Bitty Bum Boutique TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make a long corker pony streamer. You're going to need three strands of corker ribbon and if you don't know how to make corker ribbon um, you can go to my video tutorial on how to make corker ribbon. And today I have three strands um, and this is using the 3 8 inch wide ribbon. And if you're going to make a lot of these it's good to have um, your wooden dowels like already the length of what you want your strands it makes it um, quicker and easier to to do so um, for the long ones I use a 12 inch long wooden dowel and I believe these are a fourth of an inch yes this is a fourth of an inch um, wide dowel and I cut it to 12 inches so then I can use one color Per, per strand and then I don't have to like make a bunch of corker ribbon and then cut it so it's already cut to the length that I want it so you're gonna have like I said three 12 inch strips you can do it all the same color you can use different colors and you can even have more strands if you want today I'm using um, these colors this is for a bow order that I'm making so that's why I have these colors picked out so you're just gonna start with your first one and you're gonna find the middle so that they hang um, even. So once you have the middle, then you're going to pick up your second strand and then just kind of, not like a complete X, but you kind of just angle them like that. And then your third strand, same thing, find the middle, and then I put it that way. So they kind of cross like that. And then you just kind of look, my white one's a little off, so I'm going to move that. So, you make sure your ends are even. They look good. And this is a great way, um, if you like the corker ribbons, but the bows, you know, are time-consuming, um, and you, but you still want to make something cute for your girl's hair with the corker ribbon, this is an easier project to do with the corker. So once you have it all... Um, together and laying how you want it. You're just going to keep your thumb and then get your glue gun out and you're just going to put a dab of glue in between each layer. My glue guns. Sorry, messing up. So we're just kind of securing those pieces together. While I'm trying to fix my glue gun, I would like to just um, thank everyone for the kind comments that um, you've been making and um, saying how you like my videos, that I really do appreciate it. Sorry it's been a while since I've made one. October, all three of my daughters have a birthday in October, so October gets a little crazy for me. So I can't believe I'm even actually getting this tutorial in, but okay. So once you have that secure, Add a little more because my glue gun is not cooperating. There we go. Okay, once those are tight, then I have just a small strip of white that's because that's my top color, so you can match whatever top color you're going to put. This is um, just a fourth of an inch piece of um, ribbon, and then we're going to attach it to a pony tail holder today. So you're going to, I'm going to turn it over to the back and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue right here in the middle and I'm going to attach my ponytail holder. You want to put a decent amount and then I always put the seam of the ponytail holder where I'm putting my glue. So then you're just going to hold that for a few seconds and then you're going to get your ribbon. Okay, so now I'm going to put a piece of rib a dot of glue there and attach my ribbon to the back first. Once that's nice and secure, then we're going to I kind of fold these down a little 
I don't want that to go up so you want your ribbon to make it when you wrap your ribbon around you want it to go down and then just down around to the other side and I'm going to wrap it twice just right in the middle and you could even do a knot here if you would rather not have the flat you could do a knot and you don't have to attach it to a ponytail holder either you can attach it to um, a French barrette or an alligator clip they both work good I actually like alligator clips the best because then you can just or French barrettes because then you can just make the ponytail and then slide it in um, with the ponytail the ponios sometimes it the ribbons get all tangled when I try to do it so I I just prefer the other way so then once you have that then you can actually just go in with your glue gun and add a little glue there the top And I try to match my ponytail holders, you know, to the ribbon as close as possible. I mean, you're not going to really see it that much, but, you know, you still want it. you see it a little, so. So that's all you do there. And then you just need to make sure you go in and heat seal your ends with either a lighter or your wood burning tool. And I have posted this before, but in case you want to know, my I've purchased my wood burning tool at Joann's. And it's usually in the like wood crafting section and it comes with a bunch of tips. I just use the flat, like slanted tip and it just barely takes a little bit of tapping on the ribbon because you don't want to burn it. And I also recommend if you're doing a bunch of colors at once with your gun, either have something wet to wipe it off on or do all your white first because the white will show like a yellow burned color if you've already done other colors before it. So and there you have it. <laughs>